All right, at least two people are dead and nearly three million are without power as Tropical Storm Barrel cuts a destructive path across northeast Texas. These are the scenes as the storm's record rains flood Houston and its storm surge swamps coastal towns from Matagorda to Galveston. Barrel was a Category 1 hurricane with 80 mile per hour winds when it made landfall on the Gulf Coast early this morning. It was the first hurricane to hit the U.S. this year. While well, Barrel has now since weakened as it's moving up north, the National Hurricane Center warns it still poses deadly hazards. Its damaging winds are gusting more than 80 miles an hour around Houston causing scenes like this one, a tractor trailer actually flipped on its side. News Nation's Ali Bradley is live in Houston. Ali, what are you seeing there? Yeah, hey, Elizabeth, we're quite literally downtown. We are on Commerce Street. This is a road, obviously, flooded over. And I want to show you what this road leads to. This actually leads to 45 North to Dallas to a highway on ramp. That is what is flooded over right now. And that is what we're seeing all across Houston. 5969 heading to Cleveland. That is also flooded over. We've seen cars stranded out there. This is a scene playing out in downtown Houston. Now, we were quite literally chasing Hurricane Barrel as it was moving through before it became a tropical storm. We started out in Corpus Christi, and we followed that storm all the way here to Houston. And on the way, in, uh, we saw that tipped over semi in El Campo, and then we were in Sugarland. In Sugarland, we saw power poles quite literally ripped out of the ground. We saw flooded roadways there and debris, split trees everywhere in Sugarland as well, which is about a half hour outside of Houston. So many of these communities are feeling the impacts of Tropical Storm Barrel. And in order to help this situation down here, there's hundreds of linemen from all over the country. We met men from Oklahoma. We met men today from Mississippi. One of them, this was their first response to a hurricane, and they said they're going to be down here for about two weeks. They said they're down here until they don't need to be any longer, and they're prepared for that. So right now, as you mentioned, Elizabeth, unfortunately, two people were killed here in this storm. The water is receding, and, and people are starting to get back to normal. A lot of people out here looking at the damage, Elizabeth. Yeah, I imagine so. And with 2.6 million people without power and a heat wave forecast to be coming, it's going to get really uncomfortable in Texas. Allie Bradley, thank you so much. And thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.